QuickBooks Online Transfer Form. Get ready to start moving on up with QuickBooks Online. We're gonna be using the free QuickBooks Online test drive searching in our search engine for QuickBooks Online. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it test drive selecting the option that has intuit.com and the url intuit being the owner of quickbooks we'll be using the united states version and verifying that we're not a robot zooming in by holding down control up on the scroll wheel currently at one two five percent on the zoom in noting that in the cog drop down we could switch between the accountant view and the business view currently we're in the accountant view we'll try to toggle back and forth so we can see where things are located in the two views duplicating some tabs up top as we do every time to put our reports in right click duplicate tab right click again on the duplicated tab to duplicate it again back to the tab to the middle while the tab to the right is thinking reports on the left and then we want the balance sheet the big balance sheet go to the right tab this time reports on the left and this time we want the p to the l the profit to the loss the income statement i'm going to close the hamburger the ham boogie scrolling up and range change we want arrangings they are a changing 010122 to 123122 that's not a 31 31 22 that's january through december 2022 run it if you want it fresh if you want fresh reports you gotta run and then we'll go to the tab to the left and close the hand boogie scrolling up ranges changing 010122 to tab 123122 tab and run it for fresh reports run it for fresh reports like reports like my salads fresh so now we're going to go back to the first tab and that's what we do every time so notice if i hit the plus button here we've been focusing in on each of these cycles the customer cycle the vendor cycle the employee cycle now we're over here in the others area and we're looking at this transfer form particularly at this time so a transfer is typically going to be used when we're going from one like uh, checking type of account typically to another or a bank account to a bank account. Now you could use if you're if you're going to be taking money out of a checking account, you might just say, well, it's just a check form, right? It's just going to be transferring from one to the other. Why don't I just use an expense form to go out of the checking account that it's going out of? And then I use that that expense form will go to the other side which is the checking account that's fine you could do that but it's 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 a little bit weird when you look at the checking account that the deposit's going to go into because it's going to have a a expense form with an increase to the checking account that way which is a little funny or you can imagine the other side why don't you say well if i'm going to have a deposit into my checking account why don't i just record it with a with a deposit form and then the other side could go to the other account you could do that but then you're gonna have a deposit form that's actually a decrease to one of the checking accounts, which is a little funny. Not, I mean, it's not like a big problem, but in order to change that, you can have a transfer form. So let me show you what I mean. So let, let's say that we're gonna go from our, our checking account and we're gonna have money going out from one checking account into another account. So we've got our checking account and our savings account. And you say, well, look, it's going out of my checking account and I'm gonna put it into the savings account. So I'm just going to record it as an expense form. That's the form that decreases the checking account. And as you do bank feeds, it also might you run into the same kind of situation because the bank feeds are going to be related to the financial state, financial accounts, the checking accounts and the credit card accounts where you have this kind of transfer issue. So you might be recording some things as an expense and matching them. So just note that you can record the same transaction a couple different ways. The journal entry is the same but the form within the transaction detail will be a bit different. 
So you're just gonna say, I, I pay E, I'm just gonna say owner or something like that, or let's call it a transfer, transfer tab. I'll just set it up. We might not even need that, but I'll put that there. Checking account, it's gonna come out of the checking account. We'll keep the date. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna say it's gonna go into the category of the savings account, savings right there, which is a bank account. So instead of hitting an expense account, I'm just gonna say it's going in a bank account. And the amount, let's say is $1,000, boom. So we're transferring, that's 10,000. Let's do 1,000. That's too much. I'm not sure I have that much money in my account. So it's gonna go from the checking account into the savings account and not a problem. It'll record the transaction. So I'll save and close it and let's check it out. Going up to my financials, let's make it run it to refresh it. You gotta run if you wanna feel fresh, but then you gotta take a shower after you run or else you're, not, you're still not fresh, really. You're, but if you then go down and we scroll down, we're gonna say then we've got the expense form and we've recorded the transfer here, but that's in the name, that's not the form type. So it's as an expense form, but the other side is going to the savings account. Doesn't look too unusual here because it's a decrease to the checking account. Not really a problem. But if I go to the other side, it looks a little wonky, a little funny, something kind of strange. So if I go into the check to the savings account then, and I say, okay, on this side, I've got this expense form, which is an increase to the, to the account. See, it's an expense type form and a checking account. This is the transfer as a name, but that it's an expense form. So that's weird. So it looks a little funny on this side. The other way you could do it is you could say, well, what if I was making money? Let's go from the savings account into the checking account. And you could say, well, that, well, what would I do then? I could make a, an expense form out of the savings account, or I can make a deposit form in the checking account. We tend to think from the side of our checking account. So we would probably say, okay, I'll just make a deposit form on the checking account side. So you'd go, okay, let's go up top and say, this time I'll just say, make me a deposit. And this might go through the bank feeds. You have the similar issue with the bank feeds. I'll just say it's checking account going in there. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna check anything out off top. I'm just gonna say it's gonna go from the other side. The account is the savings account. Savings, savings, savings account right there, the bank account. And let's just make this one for 500. And so there it is. So now it's going to record this a journal entry, which will be fine. It's just kind of like the the form that's used will look a little bit different on one side of the transaction. So I'll say save it and close it. And then I can say, okay, so now if I go back to my balance sheet and run it to refresh it, now if I go into my checking account, I scroll down it. And again, we typically think in terms of the checking account. So if I look at the checking account, it looks it looks right. It's a deposit that's increasing my checking account. It's perfect. But on the other side, it looks a little funny because if I go to the other side and I go to my savings side of things, now I've got, I've got a deposit into a checking account, a savings account, a banking account that's decreasing my account. It looks, it looks funny, you know, from an increase or decrease to a checking account on this side. So the journal entry is fine, not a big deal, but if you used a transfer form, then it wouldn't look funny on one side of the transaction as much, right? So you could say, okay, let's do a transfer form. And let's say I go up top and say, uh, instead of using that one, I'm going to transfer. And then it's going to go from the, let's say the checking account. So now it's going to go, going to decrease the checking account to the savings account. And let's do this one just for like $200. So there we have that one. And now it'll do the same transaction, but this time have a transfer in the description area for the transaction detail, save it and close it. And then back to the tab to the right, let's freshen it up, people freshen it up by running. And then we're gonna go into the checking account, scroll down. And so now we have this transfer form. So that will give us an indication that it's a transfer. Now it's a, it's still, these forms are great over here because they give you an idea of what's actually happening. And oftentimes we want to sort the transactions by form in the checking account, because remember the checking account has many different types of forms. All other accounts 
have very limited transaction types, the kind of forms that record transactions to them, much more limited. So oftentimes in the checking account, we wanna sort by these kind of forms. So you kind of gotta be aware that if you're using a transfer form, it could be a deposit, an increase or a decrease. But like if you had an expense in here, for example, an expense form that was increasing your account, it would be hard to, to sort by the expense form. Because if you sort by the expense form, then you're gonna like, and there's an increase, then it won't show up, right? I mean, because the expenses usually decrease. So in other words, when I go up top and I say I want to, I want to filter my reports, for example, let's customize it. And let's say we're gonna go down to the filters and let's say we're gonna look at the transaction types, which is quite common. And if I just wanna look at the increases uh, in, in the account, then I'm gonna go to my deposits, of course, deposits, and then I might have to catch my transfers. Now the transfers could be going up or down, so it's a little bit tricky there, but, but it's better than possibly having an expense they would actually be increasing because I can't choose my expenses if I'm looking for the increases because the expenses are the forms that decrease typically. So if I sort in that way then, so now I've got my transfer. Now the transfer happens to be decreasing here, but I have to be aware that a transfer could be an increase in the form when I'm sorting. Now, if I go to the other side, if I go back this way and I go to the savings account, now you've got the transfer on this side as well. And so it doesn't look it doesn't look funny that it's a transfer on one side of the transactions. And again, if I was to sort this, let's say I was trying to sort this by uh, increases, uh, 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 or yeah, by by increases. Notice that I've got this expense here that's an increase, but it's recorded with an expense form. So if I'm trying to say, if this was a long list of transactions and I was trying to say, okay, I'm going to sort this by all the types of forms that increase filter and hit the drop down uh, by type by type and i want to say this is going to be a deposit and the transfer forms i'm going to lose that expense form if i run that then i'm not going to see the expense form which is a deposit because the expense forms don't normally deposit and if i pick up the deposit form then i might have a i mean the expense form in my sorting, then I'm gonna have all the decreases. So, and, no, and notice while I picked up all the deposits, which I'm looking for the increases, I've got this these deposits that are actually decreases. So that's what kind of the problem is with, I think the transfers help out a little bit for the detail. The transactions are the same, whether you, the journal entry is the same, whether you use an expense form, whether you use a deposit form, depending on which side, which account you're going to, and whether you use a transfer form in terms of debits and credits. But this detail of the transaction can be useful and you wanna be kind of mindful of it because if you filter the data, uh, then you wanna be, you often wanna filter by increases and decreases and you wanna know which kind of forms increase and decrease. Clearly, checking accounts, deposits usually increases, expenses and checks typically decrease. If you have deposits decreasing and expenses increasing, that's gonna make it difficult to filter. The transfer isn't perfect because the transfer could be an increase or decrease, but it's a way that, that could help you out in your sorting. So again, uh, may not be the biggest detail. You gotta kind of deal with that in your in your transfers for the bank feeds as, as well. It might not be a big concern that you have that added level of sortability uh, if you're not using the transfer and instead using deposits and whatnot. Uh, and we'll talk more about it in the banking area when we get to the uh, talk about the bank feeds, but clearly within the bank feeds, you're gonna be entering transactions that are gonna be matching out between the, the accounts that usually have bank feeds tied to them, which include you know the checking accounts and the credit card accounts. So let's take a quick look if I hit the drop down up top and I switch to the business view. We basically haven't gone anywhere that's unusual under either view so we've been under the the home page which is the get things done page and then if you we've just been working in the plus button up top we got the same plus button and we've been working on the uh, transfer form we also opened up our reports over here of course in the uh, uh, the business and then the reports on the left hand side